what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today we will be talking about more on Andre Lunin slash on Kepa what is going to be the situation on the goalkeeping situation because obviously as Real Madrid prepared to head out to the States the United States to play three important not necessarily important but three pre-season games it is important that you know you have a clear idea on what is going to be your squad and your squad of players right is going to have to consist of players that you know will be here you don't want to have players that you know might leave or you don't want to have players who haven't joined who might join and Lulin is already back of course in training he's not on holiday or anything because Ukraine got knocked out Kepa if you were to sign him he's already you know not done with his holiday basically he can you know join the, the training team now because he didn't get caught up with Spain so obviously these two goalkeepers are free they are available to do deals but it is really based on what is going to happen with Andre Lunin who is still the priority to be back up to Thibaut Courtois next season but let's start off with this deal uh, this news that came out from Jose Felix Diaz breaking Real Madrid are asking for 30 million euros to sell Andre Lunin can I just say that is ridiculous I, if that's true, what are Real Madrid smoking? And if that's not true, what is Jose Felix Diaz smoking? Because this is arguably the best goalkeeper last season. There weren't many keepers that were that great. Let's be real. You know, I can't name you many keepers that I thought were incredible last season. Throughout the whole season. And he was probably the keeper of the Champions League as well. right? He was just incredible. He stepped in when needed. He became a keeper that was so reliable, comfortable with the ball, uh, and was just incredible. The performance was there. Realistically, he gets into any team that doesn't have a top keeper. Realistically, you know. And look, most teams aren't going to get him because they already have top keepers. I think that if you don't have Thibaut Courtois, I think Real Madrid will make Lunin number one. I think he is that good. He can be a starter for a Real Madrid or anyone else, right? But the problem is, there is Thibaut Courtois. And we know Thibaut Courtois, on his day, is Thibaut Courtois. So, no one's going to challenge that, not even Andre Lunin. That's why he might want to leave, and we've heard that he wants to leave. But 30 million euros, that gets you Kepa. Realistically, if you sell Lunin to Chelsea, for example, for 30 million euros, they're going to ask you the same price for Kepa. And I don't think Lunin is the player Kepa is. I don't think they're as good as each other. I'll be happy with Kepa as the backup because realistically, you know what, the drop-off ain't that big for a backup keeper anyways. But the price, they aren't worth the same. Lunin is at least 50 million euros. At least. Right, Kepa could be 25, 30, fine. But Lunin is at least 50. So I'm calling BS on this news. I just don't believe that Real Madrid are only asking for 30 million euros if they were to sell him. That just seemed like a really, really bad deal to me. Then we move. Um, Andre Lunin's recent statements in Marca have not surprised anyone at Real Madrid. When last season ended, many expected him to leave from Jose Felix Diaz. Again, it's true. Many people have expected him to leave. We've heard that he was ever he was also going to leave. But let's see what happens. Uh, breaking Kepa staying at Real Madrid could become a reality in the next few days from Jose Felix Diaz again. Let's see. Let's see because saying that he will be the keeper in the next few days means that Lunin will leave in the next few days and I don't know if Andre Lunin will leave in the next few days 
I think if Luin leaves, Kepa joins. Because you, there's no way Real Madrid sign Kepa if Luin is staying. Or if there's no confirmation that Luin will be, lead, uh, will, will be staying. Right? So, I feel like the fact that he has said this means that he's very, very, very certain Luin will leave in the next few days. Let's see. Now we move away from the goalkeeping situation. Um, not yet, at least. Um, it's not quite, but it is. Real Madrid's message regarding Lunin or any other player who is doubting. When you doubt about being at Real Madrid, the exit door is open again from Jose Felix Diaz. This might just be the most reliable thing Jose Felix Diaz has said tonight. Um, so, fair enough. But we move away from the keeper situation to the left back situation with Alfonso Davis. What's going on there? Bayern's early harness on Alfonso Davis. We told him very clearly that if he doesn't renew his contract, we will let it expire. He won't get any more money. Real Madrid remain interested in Davis also for summer 2025 in case he will be a free agent. This is cap. I'm spending cap. He has one year left on his contract. Bayern Munich will not let it expire, as Erling Haaland has suggested. There's no way. You're telling me a club will purposely not renew or sell a player to let him leave for free next season. The only thing they're getting from this is, haha, we're not going to give you more money. We're not going to let you have more money. That's the only thing, and that's childish. They are not going to do that. The reason why this has come out, simple. It is to maintain the face. It is to show, look, we are Bayern Munich. We will not beg you to stay. We will not hope that you will stay. We will not make you stay if you don't, you know, listen to our conditions. If you don't oblige to our conditions. But deep down, they'll be taking to themselves, look, we have to sell him if he doesn't ex extend. If he doesn't renew his contract, we have to sell him. He's got one year left. In six months' time, the new year, he can negotiate with any club he wants, basically. And he can join any club for free. Except for teams in Germany, of course. But they won't let that happen. That's 50 million at least down the drain but let's get moving on speaking of that 50 million let's move on Real Madrid were never going to pay more than 25 30 million euros for Alfonso Davis this summer from Fabrizio Romano again now this is what we've been talking about with Lenny Euro and obviously with that deal Manchester United ended up paying that 52 million pounds or whatever it was deal to Manchester uh, to Leo sorry and they got the deal. But Real Madrid are playing this game again. Where the player's got one year left on his contract. His value is probably going to be 50 million. But they're going to lowball and pay less than half. Or around half of what his value is worth. Right? And Bayern Munich obviously are not going to accept 25, 30 million euros straight up. Because that is a very, very low fee. But if this deal drags on to mid slash late August and Alfonso Davies still hasn't signed a new contract because he hasn't you know um, he doesn't want to if Bayern Munich are not able to get him to sign a new contract and Real Madrid are thinking you know what we're probably going to wait till 2025 you might see a sudden change where Bayern Munich say look we will take 30 million euros and Real Madrid consider it and go hmm you know what we'll do the deal we could see that. We could see that very much. So, it is down to Bayern Munich, as we said with Leo. It is down to these clubs. Are they going to accept, or are they going to let it run down? Right, and this is once again on Real Madrid side. This is a card game. You know, this is chess, or whatever, right? Real Madrid are, you know, holding everything together. They have the powers. And it's down to Bayern Munich. Do they give in? Or do they act tough and they lose out on a solid 25 30 million euros? Who knows? However, um, just in 
Real Madrid want to advance in negotiations to extend Fulamonde's contract from Fabrizio Romano. Look, I've said before, I think Fulamonde is uh, one of the most underrated left backs and players in the world. He has contributed a lot to Real Madrid, that goal and clearance against Man City two seasons ago. Um, no, in fact, that was three seasons ago now. Um, you can never forget. This is a good player. He may not be as good going forward as many other left backs, but he's a, one of the best, if not the best, defensive left back in the world. You have to keep him. I think if you want to sell a left back to bring Davies in, you get rid of Frank Garcia. I do. So, that is confirmation that Real Madrid do want to advance in negotiations to extend for Lombardi's contract. Let's see what happens in the upcoming weeks. Um, whether you know a contract renewal can strike. Now let's move on away from signing ons and whatever. Luka Modric, Antonio Rudiger, Endrik and Arta Gula return to training this week for Marca. Obviously with Luka Modric, uh, he got knocked out early with Croatia in the Euros. Um, Rudiger and Arta Gula got knocked out in the quarters. I believe, yep, yep, in the quarterfinals, so they'll be back. Andrik, um is officially now a Real Madrid player, and he will be presented this upcoming, if I'm not wrong, Saturday. Um, so his presentation will be at the Santiago Bernabeu on Saturday. So these four players will report in for training this week. Exciting. Now to end off, we have got the new away kit. Let's have a look at that beauty, you would say. Official Real Madrid away kit. Now look. Adidas Real Madrid kits always bang. Right? Um, last season, we had the black and the blue. Um, the dark blue, which was beautiful. And we had the black third kit, which wasn't really used a lot. I, I remember that was being used against Union Berlin away, um, but that wasn't used a lot, and mainly home kit. But this year, the home kit looking beautiful, the white and the black. The away kit is orange and black, um, a bit like Fanta, Fanta color. Now, this is a throwback, if you remember, to this. The 2013-14 Real Madrid away kit if I'm not wrong which was worn by Cristiano Ronaldo um, it's looking beautiful I, I, I like the colour um, I prefer this orange to, to this it's more bright it gives more you know c colourful vibes the vibes is there although this was nice obviously um, but Kylian Mbappe will get to wear um, an orange kit just like his idol once did and you know the likes of Endrick as well will get to wear this um, I can't wait to see some players in this um, you know in fact everyone you know every player in this um, but looking looking beautiful but let me know what I thought on the away kit uh, and let me know what I thought about the news in general uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you haven't stayed subscribe to the channel already and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.